Each March, the National Association of Social Workers celebrates Social Work Month. This marks their 60th anniversary. NASW's goal is to educate the public about how social workers and the association have brought about major positive social changes, improve the lives of individuals and families, and will continue to do so in the future. According to socialworkers.org, social workers believe that each person has dignity and worth. Sharing that philosophy, the team members at Cornerstone Hospice explain the role social workers play in their interdisciplinary approach to end-of-life care. When most folks hear the word hospice, their immediate reaction is fear. And so uh, what we want to help folks to understand, though, is that with the proper referral and timing, that there's not necessarily an impending death, that someone can be on our service for weeks or months, and, and we want to make sure that they understand that our team brings in a full scope of services. We bring in certainly nurses and chaplains and social workers. We have physicians who can make house calls. Most folks find that they define our service by what they think they have to give up and aren't really aware of the full scope of services that our team can provide to be supported. I think having an interdisciplinary team, people just don't get until they use it. When they come onto hospice care, they're saying, I want the best quality of life. It's not the time issue that's the most important, um, but I want to have every day be the best day it can be. And with our whole team, we can meet the spiritual needs, the physical needs, uh, social needs, anything going on with them, someone as a part of our team is there to step in and say, hey, let me help you with that. A social worker recently helped one patient plan a cruise. That was on her bucket list. And so they helped to guide her to help set that up to meet a need that was important. So we do a lot more than just give meds. We spend more time providing support and care to loved ones actually than we do for patients. Because while we may care for a patient for three weeks or three months or even three days, we're there for that family for that same amount of time. But we also reach out and our bereavement team uh, communicates with the family and sends them, makes phone calls, sends letters, because we want to make sure that those surviving family members and friends have the opportunity to uh, give expression and voice to their grief and then move on to a, a, to a revitalized, meaningful life again. You'll find more information about Cornerstone Hospice as well as past stories when you click the Social Workers Story Link icon on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com. The weather was cool and the chili was hot at the fifth annual Spice It Up for Hospice Chili Cook-Off that was held recently in downtown Bushnell. This event was a successful fundraiser for Cornerstone's Lane Purcell Hospice House, bringing in $14,000 in donations. 19 teams made up of area businesses, government offices, and families cooked up some great tasting chili, set up fun and creative booths, and made sure folks enjoyed the day. Winning the judges' choice for first place was Team Chillin' the Most. The winner of the People's Choice Award was Sons of Sumter Jeep Club, and Best Booth Decoration was the Sumter County Sheriff's Office. The money raised during this event will go to provide financial assistance to the patients and for patient care at Cornerstone's Lane Purcell Hospice House. Thank you.